Hi everyone, thanks for checking out the data for the Better Call Trawl Challenge. Today I'm going to walk you through the two main types of data that are available for this challenge as well as their organization. So as I mentioned, there are two main types of data and these are organized into two folders. There's the trawling data and the tagging data. This readme file walks you through what those are. Generally, the trawling data is sea turtle trawling collection data, as well as the dredge information, spatial information. The tagging data has specific information on the IMU tags. Those tags have acceleration, depth, and temperature. So there's two main studies that make up the tagging part of this data. So diving into the tagging data, the two main studies are in two locations. The first one is in Cape Canaveral, and the second one is the Gulf of Mexico. They are two different studies, so the data are presented slightly differently, and there are slightly different types of data available. So we look at the Cape Canaveral data. This was done on eight nesting loggerhead turtles, which were tagged with both IMU tags as well as satellite tags, so they could be geolocated. So this would have acceleration, depth, temperature, as well as a geolocation point every few hours. More information about the specs and how the tags uh, geolocation points were developed can be in this file as well as in reports. So the tag manual will tell you more about the specs of the tags. And then these two studies will help you interpret the data into behavioral information. The tag data themselves are, is in this tag folder and the data fields are is in this folder. So this is all the column headers with a description of what those column headers are and how they were calculated. There's also uh, some graphs which showed the visual interpretation of all the different data files. The Gulf of Mexico data, like I said, is from a different study, so it's presented slightly differently. There are different turtles in each one of these folders. So if you click on the folder, each one of the folders has a, an acceleration folder file, a depth and temperature file, and then a PNG, which shows the depth temp temperature and acceleration in three axes through time. And this readme file tells you the information that's located in each one of these files, as well as the header for each one of those files. Getting into the trawling data, there are two main trawling sites that were used for this. The uh, description of the file contents is in this outline of contents folder. It goes through each folder, so reports, sea turtle trawling, spatial files, the subfolders in each one of those folders, and then the information summarized that can be located in those folders. So this is the main map of the folders that you're going to be looking at. Going into site A, there are reports, sea turtle trawling data, and spatial files. The reports go through the observation reports, which is a summary of what turtles were captured. The sea turtle trawling is the actual data. There's a readme file that tells you the column headers information. And then the spatial files show you the actual site area that's dredged, the location of the drag heads of the dredge, the capture and release locations of the turtle, and the before and after bathymetry of the location. And then site B is formatted exactly the same way. Same thing with the spatial files, the sea turtle trawling information with header definitions and the reports. So that's the data for the challenge and I hope you have fun playing with it and I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with.